okay, so how quickly would I be able to generate one ebook, four video scripts, four blogs, 30 tweets, 30 image prompts, and some images as well for my social media content at the back of one transcript. So I've got a transcript from a video from a masterclass that I did a couple weeks ago about automation versus agentic AI. And I have here, so I'm going to open that transcript and all I have to do is copy that transcript and then I'm going to paste it in the tools that I've pre-built. Uh, one, uh, tool that I've pre-built is a flow, multi-LLM workflow, where I've got NVIDIA Nematron, Claude, GPT-40, Perplexity, and a random language model working together. NVIDIA is going to select the four topics. The rest of the LLMs will write. So I've got the leader and four blog writers. So I'm going to use that flow. I'm just going to simply paste the transcript here. So I'm going to start running that flow. While that's running, I'm going to then go to another flow tool, which will create my four video scripts. So in this flow, I've got a director, which is an NVIDIA Nematron, and I've got four script writers following that, which is a mixture of Claude, Llama, Martha Max, and another random LLM um, that is chosen by our auto uh, routing feature. So I'm going to use that flow. Again, I'm just going to paste my transcript there. I'm going to start running that flow. So the next tool that I've already pre-built is my newsletter flow. I've got three LLMs working together here, actually just two, but three steps, one NVIDIA Nematron and two Clods. The two Clods will write and the NVIDIA Nematron is the chief editor who will choose the two topics for the newsletter. So I'm gonna use that flow, I'm gonna paste that transcript here as well. So I'm gonna start running that flow. The next tool is a single lemonade that I've built, which is going to generate the 30 tweets or short form content for me. Again, uh, it's it's on NVIDIA Nematron. It's, I'm just going to paste that transcript as well. I'm going to send that over. And now this tool is going to work on my tweets. And while it's doing that, I am also going to trigger um, my ebook writer. So as um, I'm going to feed that transcript again in my ebook writer, and then how, how this ebook is designed, it's, it's going to provide me an outline and it's going to um, ask for approval and write one chapter at a time. And while it's generating the outline, let's check on the uh, other tools that we've started running. So here we have the blog writer. So Nematron has chosen four unique blog topics. One, demystifying AI. Two, automation versus AI agents. Three, the feature of work. And four, building responsible AI. So those are four distinct topics. We can see here, the first blog is already written. Demystifying AI, a beginner's guide to understanding AI, generative AI, AGI, and ASI. So it's given me this blog with some um, key points, quite long as well. I've got blog two, um, writing topic two about the feature of work. We can see that it has also written quite a extensive and really good blog actually. And then we've got blog writer three, choosing the topic building responsible AI. And then we've got that writing quite a extensive blog as well. And then blog four is still um, working. So while that's doing that, I'm going to check on my video scripts AI. So the director has chosen four um, topics and assigned um, a topic for each writer. So we've got Writer 1, Demystifying AI Terminology. Writer 2, Automation versus AI Agents. Writer 3, Inside the Framework, How AI Agents Work with Generative AI and Human in the Loop. That's quite interesting. Writer 4, Revolutionizing Productivity, Launch Nominates Approach to AI Agents and the Future Developments. So that's four distinctive topics as well. You can see script writer 1 has written the uh, script, got a hook, a line and a synchro format. So you got, did you know that most people who talk about AI don't actually know what it means? Let me break it down to the AI alphabet soup in 60 seconds. And that's good enough. Got script writer to the hook is, think you know the difference between automation and AI? Think again. We're about to dive into the AI versus automation debate. That's got everyone talking and it's way more complicated than you think. It's a good hug. And then we've got script writer three, Welcome to the age of cybernetics. Okay, that's also quite interesting. We've got script writer four has completed the um, script. 
we've got showing a bionic arm or using a filter that makes me look part robot was the instruction. And then the hook is, what if I told you that right now there are humans who can lift 200 pounds with one arm, see in the dark and never forget a single memory. And no, I'm not talking about superheroes. So those are four video scripts um, that I can use. And then let's proceed through, let's just go back to the blog writer and see if the, the fourth blog has been written. So I have here the fourth blog about automation versus AI agents. Um, it's quite bulletly. Uh, it's probably down to the language model that's selected, but it's written four blogs now. I've got four blogs, four video scripts, and now let's look at the newsletter flow. So you've got the editor choosing two topics, demystifying AI terminology and the rise of AI agents. And newsletter one has written um, the newsletter, the AI confusion trap, and the newsletter two, when tools become teammates. Um, as well. So it's written a newsletter. Obviously, you can change the format, how you write your newsletters. This is just a simple example of how it can work. So we've got those flows working now. And then let's now go to the individual lemonades. We just hit, I think, our almost at five minute mark. Okay, so now let's check the tweets. So now I can see that the um, short form content lemonade has generated 30 tweets for me. And I'm going to copy that. And then as I've copied that, I'm going to hand it over to my image generator, uh, image prompt generator. So I'm going to just paste all of those tweets and I'm going to expect it to give me a list of prompts that I can use in my um, image generator. So while that's running, um, let us check on our ebook writer. So you can see my ebook writer has given me um, an outline of the book. That includes uh, chapter one, AI landscape, chapter two, breaking down AI types, chapter three, automation versus AI agents, chapter four, the automation framework, chapter five, anatomy of an AI agent, chapter six, the agent framework, chapter seven, security and ethics, and chapter eight, the future of AI agents. So it's asking me, would you like me to proceed with writing chapter one, the AI landscape? And I'll just say, yeah, sure. So I am going to send that over. And now let's check on the image prompts. So I can see here that the image prompt generator is generating um, image prompt for each tweet. So we've got here, AI agents are not just automation. They can learn, decide, and adapt while automation follows fixed rules. And you've got the image prompt as well here, um, suggested an image prompt for an image that we can use for the tweet. Like think of it as an Instagram overlay, you know, like your image and then you've got the text overlay. So now I can see that it's generated 30 prompts. So I'm going to copy one prompt at a time and then feed that in um, to my image generation generator. So this is my image generator lemonade. I'm going to send that through. And while that's doing that work, I'm going to check on my ebook writer. So we now have four blogs, two newsletters, four video scripts, and 30 tweets. The only thing missing is the ebook and the image, um, the images. So we're going to be working on those now. So you've got here, um, the ebook is written chapter one, the AI landscape and it's asking me, am, am I ready to do the chapter two? I'm say yes. And then now while that's doing that, let me check on if see if the first image has been generated. So we can see here, the first image has been generated. I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to copy the second prompt now as well. I'm going to paste that through and then we're going to go back to the ebook writer so i can see that it's still writing the chapter the second chapter let me just wait for that so it's written chapter two and i go yep write chapter three you check on the second image if it's generated and it's generated my second image and then i am going to then copy another um, prompt from my prompt generator and then I'm going to paste that here as well. And then I have my chapter three now. So I'm going to proceed with chapter four. So I just go back and forth between finishing my ebook and my images. Okay, and that's it. So let's review everything that we've um, put together at the back of one transcript in under 30 minutes. We have here. Um, the four blogs. So we've got blog one, blog two, blog three, and blog four. 
And then we have our video scripts. So we've got four scripts as well, script one, script two, script three, script four. And then our newsletters, we've got two newsletters here. And then we've got 30 tweets here as well. Um, and then I have here uh, an ebook with eight chapters written. And then I have here 15 images. So you've got image one, image two. Let's open this image three because I think this is my favorite on the lot. Image, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, actually 14 images that we generated. And did, did I miss another one? Yeah, and we've got the, of course, the, 50, the 30 prompts for image generation. So I can keep going, but uh, I think that's it for now. So that is how quickly I generated content at the back of one transcript. So how did I build this? The full rundown will be on YouTube. So make sure to find us on YouTube and subscribe. Okay, so how did we build these flows? So the first flow that I will walk you through is the blog writer flow. This is actually ridiculously easy to build. All you have to do is add, uh, go to launch laminate and add a laminate. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. So you're on your, when you land on your dashboard, you basically add a laminate and name your laminate and choose laminate flows. Once you've done that, create a tool and you will land on this kind of dashboard where you get to add your steps. Um, when you add your steps, you basically just um, give it a name, select the model, uh, enter the question or the role um, that triggers this workflow, and then add instructions. You can definitely be more creative in the instructions, but for this exercise, I want it to be really stupid simple. So I just said, analyze the transcript, then generate four unique blog topics from the transcript. You will then hand over the four topics to the next step. That's it. And then um, the blog writer has just been, again, chosen. You choose a language model and you write in the instructions. You are part of a flow and you will choose one topic from the four handed over to you by the previous step. Uh, you will be writing one blog. Be bold, write 800 words. So, you know, again, you can be unique in your instructions. And then you repeat that uh, a couple of times. And then the fourth blog, I just said, write the final blog, be informative, engaging, 800 words. Again, you can be more descriptive and have more details in, give it examples so you can perform better as well. And then we've got the uh, video script, Writer AI. It's a similar step. So you basically add your steps, uh, assign a director, NVIDIA Nematron, in my instructions, I just said, you will analyze the transcript and as the genius director and producer that you are, you will decide on four different video topics you will assign to four different writers in this flow. You are a leader, so tell them the, so tell the next step to choose one script to write and hand over the rest of the topics to the next step. And then in the script writer, I just said, write a TikTok video script about one of the four topics given to you. Make it engaging. Use hook, line, and sinker format. Make sure it has a viral hook. Hand over the rest of the topics that you didn't choose to the next step and ask them to choose one topic and write a video talking head script about that topic. That simple. Again, you can be more uh, creative here as well. Add more inst uh, instructions and examples so it can perform better. And then you repeat that three times over. And then we've got the next and final flow, which is the newsletter AI. Um, so these, this is just a three-step flow. We've got the editor that chooses the two topics. Similarly, my instructions are quite simple. From the transcript provided, choose two topics or themes that your team will create two separate newsletters for. Um, your newsletters are concise, insightful, bold, and deep. Again, you can have more descriptions here if you want it longer. Like you might, actual newsletters are quite longer as actually. And then you can uh, ask the you can show how to format the newsletter, which is bold claim, main topic, breakdown, and bottom line. And then ask the next step to hand over the other topic not chosen. So the next AI after them can create the newsletter using the same format, but not being redundant. And then in the newsletter, the instructions, I chose Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And then in the instructions, I actually gave it a more detailed instructions. I gave it a role. You are an expert essayist emulating the style of Paul Graham, known for his concise, clear, simple writing. Your task is to write newsletter essay on one of the topics provided by the user showcasing your ability to distill complex ideas into accessible, engaging prose. Give it a task, rules to follow, and an output. 
And then the same goes for the second newsletter. And then we have then um, our lemonades. So this is my tweet uh, to build that. You add a lemonade and then choose chat flow. Once you've given it a name, you will land on this dashboard where you get to choose a language model. I've chosen Claude for this one. And then um, I have added in the instructions, you know, I've added the welcome message. But in the instructions, I give it a role that they are social media strategists specializing in crafting bold and provocative tweets. I've given it a task to analyze the content thoroughly and then provide the tweets. The rules to follow that I've added here is do not use emojis or hashtags, maintain a bold and provocative tone throughout, ensure each tweet is distinct and thought provoking. And obviously you can edit that as well. And we've got the ebook writer. Okay, the ebook writer is quite nuanced in how I design it. Like I definitely had to uh, optimize this based on uh, my previous attempts. But all you have to do again is add lemonade, name your lemonade and choose chat lemonades and you create a tool. Once you create that tool, you choose a language model. I chose Claude again. And in my instructions, I gave it a role. You are a masterful storyteller and thought leader, transforming raw podcast transcripts into emotionally resonant books that inspire deep personal change. Write with the voice of seasoned author who weaves compelling narratives and profound insights into transformative reading experiences. Again, you can be creative here as well and have your own. Uh, I've given it important um, instructions, step-by-step -step request. I said, provide the outline and then the individual chapters, how many words per chapter approximately, and then what the conclusion should be like. I gave it writing guidelines and a format as well. You can add knowledge base in individual lemonades. You can either use our scraping tool or upload your files, but I didn't on this one. Uh, and then, you know, we've got some additional features on like add-ons. Do you want to enable search, file upload, image upload, or remember all conversations you can definitely do that. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how I built this. And then we've got the image generator uh, as well. So this is quite almost stupid simple. Um, you have to choose Flux V1.1 as a model. And the instructions, I just said, generate the images based on prompt given. And then it's generated based on the prompts that I gave it. And then the final one is the image prompt creator. So I have chosen the auto routing or um, auto selector, language model selector. And in the instructions, so I've chosen auto routing as the language model here. And then in the instructions, I just said, you are an AI specialized in generating creative and visually appealing image prompts. Your task is for each of the 30 short form content pieces provided, analyze the text to identify key themes, emotions, and visual elements. Consider the tone, context, and any specific imagery mentioned or implied in the tweet. Use the analysis to craft a detailed image prompt that captures the essence of the tweet. Your chain of thought should include, one, identify the main theme, two, determine the emotions, three, recognize any specific imagery, four, consider the target audience, Five, create a detailed image prompt that aligns with the above elements. Give it rules to follow, what the output is, and what the output should look like. And that's it. Those are the tools. That's how you build it. And I hope you learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments or find me on LinkedIn and message me. I'll see you later. Ciao.